That is the Formal 2 four long version. Next then, this is leg two of the Moors Millions, and it's a maiden as well. And the top one is Kono, or Kono for Paul Fisk, Don Quixote for Leon Van Rensburg, Geralt for Paul O'Neill, Cartan Tantalus, Hymns, Nelly Dunn, that Derek Hinton, Rezvan Corlin, Graham Clutterbuck, The National Awaits, Joshua Sutherland, Argus Sackart, David Robertson, Blooming Chaser, Darren Thompson, Bogus Penny, Martin Leedham, Claire Zone, John Morgan, Pray for Her, Paul Rhodes, Sheila, Craig Beckwith, Southern Spectrum, Alex Cherry, Thistledown, Please, Daniel French, and Verge for James Shea. 16 of them then. These races will become handicaps, by the way, in the next week or so, so give people plenty of chances as well. And away they go. With... I'm just going to take a sign on. It looks like it might be Res 1 calling right over on the far side. It might be the early leaders. They come down to the first. And we've lost one at the first again. We did that in the last race as well. And Blooming Chaser has gone. And we might have to become a Blooming Hurdler, might he? He's going to keep jumping like that. So, first one out already. Over the second. And Cartan Tantalus is in the lead. Racing down towards the third. Cartan Tantalus pops over in front. So lots of fallers in the first leg. And this one they've got to jump a few more fences. So we might see a few more. We'd expect these to be slightly better jumpers. I wouldn't these are like Grand National contenders. I think one or two of these ran in the trial Grand National a couple of weeks ago. And Cartan Tantalus certainly did not think it the field along for quite some way. It's in the lead at the moment of about three or four lengths. It'll get back to Verge, they're both in the same colours. I think Verge is James, one of James Shay, one's hymns. I think Verge is James Shay and Cart and Tantalus is hymns. Why my luck's been going lately, it's probably completely the opposite way around. Anyway, Cart and Tantalus is in the lead by about five now, then to Clare Zone in the David Robertson. Two of course, and Maroon Hoops in second, just on the inside of Verge. And then a couple of greys. One hasn't got a jockey, though. The one that has is Geralt. The one that hasn't is Blooming Chaser. That's out of the race. Tucked in between them, the purple jacketed Bogus Penny. And the National Awaits in the black and the red hoops. The navy blue and the white sleeves on the outside is Sheila as they take number five. And a mistake there by David Robertson's Argus Sackart. As they make their way towards the next fence towards the back thistle down please is just the back marker and this is the sixth and there's another fall of there something else gone Sheila's gone so Sheila is out uh, blooming chaser and Sheila gone then as they make their way down towards the next still one over three miles to go and over that one with Cartan Tantalus in the lead get back to Virgin second then Garot and Clare's own with the National Awaits on the outside, Kono is getting a bit closer. Then Bogus Penny, Argus Sackart recovering from that mistake. Then Don Quixote and Southern Spectrum with Nelly done that and pray for her. Razwan calling has dropped right towards the back. And thistle down, please. Here's the complete black marker as they take the next. And another fall of their cart untangled as the leader's gone. So crashing fall there for the leader. That one's out of the race. And Verge. He's in front of them, really tightly packed up the top now for the departure of that leader. And Verge is in front. Geralt, the Greys, now coming up on his outside as they take the next. And they're all over that one, okay, with a field pretty tightly grouped now as they come down the straight again. And they've got to go around another twice yet. And Verge, and Clear Zone, and Geralt are disputing the lead. Don Quixote have moved through to fourth. Maybe getting some camera action in a minute, are we? Maybe, as they take the next. All over that one, okay. And they're getting a long distance shot of them now racing towards us. But the cameraman can have a little bit of a play around in some of these long distance races. Makes it quite interesting. It's not quite so much fun for the commentators in those short sprints when the angles keep changing and the cameras and stuff because you can't keep up with what's going on. But with these ones, it's all right to have a bit of a break. So Garot then is in the lead now. Clear zone is second, Verge is third, Argus Sackart fourth, then Don Quixote, the National Awaits, and then Bogus Penny, then Kono nearly done that, is after that one. So you race away from us and down towards his next, we get an aerial shot over this fence, and over that one they all go. With a grey in the lead now, Geralt from Clear Zone second, a 
Well, the Grayaga Sakart has moved through into third. And the National awaits on the outside. Bogus Penny on the inside. And between the two, Don Quixote Verge has lost its place. And he's alongside Prey for her and Nelly Dunlap and Kono. And Southern Spectrum. And Thistledown, please, next. And then just Razwan chasing at the back. But no more than 10 lengths off the lead as they take the 13th. And there's still an awful long way to go. A lot of jumping to do. And we've already seen three. Crashing Falls and Geralt and Argus Sackart making a grey one too at the moment. And then Grey, the man who runs most of the league, is the back marker. So Grey's at the front and Grey at the back as they take that one. And Geralt has quickly gone three clear now. Of Claire's own in second, Argus Sackart third, then the National Awards, Don Quixote, Bogus Penny. That's the leading group as they take this ditch. Bogus Penny a bit slow at that one. And Razwan Corlin didn't jump in all that well on the outside either. Garot's in front as they race into the final two miles and leads by about four lengths, I would say, three maybe, to clear zone on the inside of Argus Sakar. The National Awaits on the outside and just tucked in behind them is Don Quixote. Bogus Penny still going the shortest way around. Behind that one is Southern Spectrum. And Southern Spectrum really made a mistake there and right down on its nose and has now dropped towards the back and last one called in still just the tail end Charlie but Geralt in the lead by about four to clear zone second Master the weights third Argus Sackot four Don Quixote five Bogus Penny six and then Kono and Nelly done that as they take next and another faller there and it's Argus Sackart gone this time so another faller and another one of the greys out and another one of the leaders out as well as Geralt Takes this next one. The field thinning out now. We've lost four. And we're just coming up past the winning post shortly. And then we've got one more circuit to go. Got one more fence to take. This will be the last on the next circuit. And then we go off for one more sweep of the track. And as they come up to past this winning post, then it's going to be Garot that takes them past it in the lead. And National Awaits is in second. Claire's is in third. And Don Quixote is fourth. Thistledown, please, is five. And then Nelly Don, that is six. And then Verge is seven. And Bogus Penny is eight. And Southern Spectrum is nine. And then pray for her, Kono. And finally, Res One Calling is the back marker. As they race away and begin to swing right-handed in the pouring rain then. And grey skies overhead and a grey horse in the lead. And Geralt is that leader by about a nick to the National Awaits in second as they take this next one. And that one they go. Thistle down, please. He's moved nicely through the pack but jump that one slowly. It's losing its place a little bit. It's bogus penny. But Geralt is now being challenged on the outside by the National Awaits. Gap of a length or so to clear zone and Don Quixote were going together. Then Thistle down, please. He's going better on the flat than over the fences. Nelly done that. He's next and then Verge. Bit of a gap to bogus penny. Riz one calling. He's now making a move through the pack as Kono is the one that's dropped out of it. And they're racing now towards this next fence and the National Awaits has just poked its head in front. Mistake there by Don Quixote. But it's the National Awaits in front now by good length to Geralt in second. Clear zone is back in third. Bit of a gap back to Thistledown, please. Don Quixote trying to recover from that mistake. Coming nicely on the outside now. He's nearly done that as they take the next one. And over that one, they all go the two at the back. Southern Spectrum and Kono might be just struggling a little bit. But it's the National Awaits who's in the lead. But look at this. Nearly done that on the outside. Don Quixote's also going to get well again now. And Thistledown, please, as they take that next one. Down on his nose, on her nose, as pray for her. But it's the National Awaits on the inside now. Don Quixote being driven through the middle of those two leaders. And Don Quixote now takes it up from the National Awaits in second. Nelly done that is third. Then after that one comes Geralt. Thistle down, please. Verge, Riz one calling. Bogus Penny. Still plenty of chances, but Don Quixote for Leon Van Rensburg has got the lead. And he's being challenged again now by the National Awaits. Nelly done that is third. Over this next one they go. Let's see them all over that one. They all jumped in okay. And it's the National Awaits who's in front now again. By about half a length, Don Quixote trying to battle back. Nelly done that. Looks a bit one paced in third. Thistle down, please. Trying to get going around the outside. Geralt looks beaten. Clear zone's dropped away tamely. Verge is trying to run on, but it's the National Awaits coming down towards the next fence in the lead by about two lengths. Don Quixote's dropping back. That was a third last, and it's the National Awaits who's been in a power away. N Nelly done that is now the main danger, I think, trying to run on his clear zone, but it's the National Awaits who races down towards the second last. Gets over it, gets away from it well. Mistake again by Don Quixote. Surely that one's beat. It's the National Awaits coming down towards the final fence then in this second leg of the Moors Millions qualifier. Over the last he goes, and he pulls 
Bowser has made a mistake by nearly done that spot paid to any chance that one had. And the National awaits. He's going to take this by a good six lengths, racing up towards the line. The National may well await for the National awaits after this. The National awaits. He's going to take it quite comfortably in the end. Clears out his second, then he's done that third, then Verge, then Don Quixote. Thistle down, please. Res one calling after that one. And the field will travel back to Kona and pray for her with the last two to finish. And the National awaits may end up being the best named horse in the entire season, mightn't it, if it does what Joshua Sutherland will want it to do, and that's win the National later on in the season. He's won that one well. And let's take a look at the full list of where everybody's finished. The result as it comes up. And the National Awaits for Joshua Sutherland is the winner. Clear zone for John Morgan, second. Nearly done that for Derek Hinton, third. Verge for James Shows, fourth. And Don Quixote for Leon Van Rensburg was fifth.